welcome back to Connie TV. I'm Tori and today we're supplementing pet collars. This item would be great to pair with our pet scarves and with our leashes, but today we're working with the collars. Now we've seen folks do everything from uh, decorate these with school spirit logos, team names, holidays, or even pet events. And so they make great items to sell to groomers and pet support groups, as well as pet shops. I'm gonna be sublimating one of the larger little collars today. So they come in a variety of sizes, but I'm gonna be doing the larger one. So let's go ahead and get started. So now that you're getting a closer look at the collar, you can see that it has the necessary adjustments that every other collar has so that it'll fit your dog. You can also see there's ample room for sublimating. And because the collar is gonna lay on the back of your dog's neck, no matter what you put on there, whether it's a graphic or your dog's name or even service dog, it will be seen. So that's always really good. Now the items that I also brought are my protective paper. I brought my blank collar, my image. I have my sticky lint roller for getting all the debris off later. And then also my Condi heat tape. I've already got some pieces cut for me to use later. So now I'm going to take my sticky lint roller and get off any debris before I line my image. Make sure it's nice and good right there. All right. And then I'm going to take my image and line it up with the collar. I want to be sure that the name is centered on the collar. And once it is, I'm going to secure it with my Condi tape. And I love using my Condi heat tape. Be sure to ask your account agent how to get some for yourself. Once that's nice and secure, we're ready to head over to the press. When we get to the press, we're gonna put a piece of protective paper down first. And then our next step is super important. Because our collar has metal and plastic pieces, we wanna be sure they hang over the sides because they will melt and mess up our image and our press. So now that our metal piece and our plastic clip is hanging off the side, we can cover our image with a piece of protective paper and press. For all of the latest instructions, be sure to visit Condi.com. That sound means we're done. So let's see how our collar turned out. Uh-oh. All right, let's remove the image. Whoa, that looks so good. Those colors look amazing. I'm gonna let it cool off and then we'll take another look at it. So I love Arlo's new collar, and now I'm ready to add it to the others. Now these are decorative collars, and they're not suitable for pets that twist or pull just because they might add some extra stress on the buckle. However, they're perfect for furry friends that just want an extra little bit of festive flair. And I also would recommend you pairing them with some of our other pet products. You can find those and other tips and tricks over on Condi.com. For more of my videos, be sure to check out Condi TV. I'm Tori, and thanks for watching.